Now let us look at the first one. X square plus 9x plus 20 equal to 0 and 8y square minus 15y plus 7 equal to 0. Now by just looking at the question itself, I can say that answer is nothing but x less than y. I will not solve this question also. Just by looking at the question, I will say answer is x less than y. Why? Because if you observe here, now if this is like positive sign, positive sign. If you observe here, this is negative sign and this is positive sign. Which means here the roots are negative roots. Here the roots are positive roots. Now when we know that these are negative and these are positive, x value is negative, y value is positive. Which means that I can simply say x is less than y. That's it. So you not solve this question completely. Just by looking at the question itself, you can mark the answer in just 2 seconds of time. Let's look at the next one x square minus 11x plus 30 equal to 0 similarly y square plus 12y plus 36 equal to 0 now even this question can be solved in just a fraction of seconds now just by looking at the question itself i can say that answer is x greater than y why because here the roots are positive but here the roots are negative Obviously, we know that positive value is greater than negative value. So, we can say that x is greater than y. Just 2 seconds of time. You will not solve the question completely also. Just 2 seconds of time. Let's look at the next one. x square plus 13x plus 30 equal to 0. y square plus 7y plus 10 equal to 0. And obviously, you have to solve this question. You can't mark the answer directly. Why? Because these two questions, you can mark the answer directly. Why? Because the question is given in such a manner. But here the question is not given similar to the above questions. So you have to solve these questions. Now if you observe here, this is 30. Now I can write 13 as 10 plus 3. 10 into 3 is like 30. Okay. Now roots are nothing but minus 10 minus 3. These are nothing but roots. Now if you look here, this is like 10. So 10 I can write it as 7 can be written as 5 2 5 into 2 is nothing but 10 okay now roots are nothing but minus 5 minus 2 now if you observe here this is minus 10 minus 3 this is minus 5 minus 2 now if you observe here simply by looking at the numbers I can say answer as C and D which means cannot be determined why because in the X we have one bigger value and one smaller value in y we have one bigger value one smaller value and already we know that if we have one bigger value in x and one bigger value in y and similarly one bigger value in y and one bigger value in x now what happens is like when you compare both of them one time x will be greater and another time x will be less so one time x is greater and another time x is less we will know that we know that the value for this or answer for this is nothing but cannot be determined okay very simple question why because if you observe here if we compare minus 3 and minus 5 we know that x is greater but if you observe here when you compare minus 2 and minus 10 then y is greater when y is greater means obviously x is less which means one time x is greater and another time x is lesser so obviously answer will be can't be determined okay and all you guys need to observe the approach i am not explaining the concept completely i am just showing you the approach for these questions now let us look at the next one x square minus 20x plus 91 equal to 0 similarly y square plus 16y plus 63 equal to 0 even this question can be answered in just fraction of seconds x value positive y value negative which means answer is x greater than y just a fraction of seconds you will not solve all the question why because this is like positive roots this is negative roots so directly i can say that answer is x greater than y let's look at the next one x square minus x minus 12 equal to 0 and one more is y square plus 5y plus equal 6 equal to 0 we need to solve this question when you solve this question minus x i can write it as minus 4 minus 4 plus 3 okay minus 4 plus 3 is nothing but minus 6 minus 4 into plus 3 is nothing but minus 12 now roots what are the roots roots are nothing but opposite term, opposite sign which means roots are nothing but plus 4 minus 3 these are nothing but roots now if you observe here in this 5 can be written as 3 2 3 plus 2 is 5 3 into 2 is 6 roots roots are nothing but minus 3 
minus 2. Okay. Now, if you observe here, 4 is greater than minus 3. Similarly, if you observe here, minus 2 is greater than minus 3, which means x is greater one time and another time x is less. So, I can say that answer for this question is nothing but C and D can't be determined. So, all these five questions can be answered in just two minutes of time. You don't even need two minutes of time. If you're really smart, this question two seconds and similarly, this question two seconds, this question two seconds. You just need to solve only these two questions. And even these two questions are also just very simple questions where you can solve all these five questions in less than two minutes of time. Okay? Let us look at